All right, for this lab, we're going to talk about Le Chatelier's principle, where we are shifting the reaction around by changing reactants and the concentration of reactants and products, or changing the temperature and trying to figure out how is that going to um, affect the reaction? How will that? How will the reaction shift in order to regain that equilibrium? So the first section, there's there's three parts. The first part, we're looking at acid-base indicators. So we're going to use our phenolphthalein. And this is the reaction that we have going on here. Um, on the, um, so this is colorless, and then on the other side you can have something that's pink. So this is, the indicator really does depend on the pH, and up here it kind of tells you that if you have, uh, on, on the acidic side, so if you're like a pH 3 to 8, uh, you'll be colorless, they won't have any color. Um, but if you start adding some base to your solution, you, you have a basic solution, then it should turn pink. And we're going to use this indicator when we do a, um, an acid-base titration. So you'll see this one again. So this is what's happening in this reaction. So the first thing you want to do is create a, a dilute hydro hydrochloric acid solution. Um, so you're going to take two mils of your purified water, this is two mils, and then you're going to add 10 drops of, of uh, one molar HCl to your solution. Uh, remember that 10 drops is about a half a mil. So 20 drops is one mil. So if I'm doing 10 drops, that's a half a mil. So the very first thing I have to do is figure out what that concentration looks like. So that's what you're going to do on your data sheet. And it's helpful to just have your data sheet out um, when you're you know, collecting all of your data here. So I'm going to use the dilution equation, M1V1 equals M2V2, to help me figure this out. Can I just see that, please? M1V1 equals M2V2. And my initial um, hydrochloric acid concentration was 1.0 molar. And I just told you that we're using a 0.5 um, milliliter volume. How did, I, how did I get that? They said put 10 drops in there. And 10 drops, um, we know that 20 drops um, equals 1 mil. So 20 divided by 10 is just 0.5. So we're going to have 0.5 mils here. The final molarity is what I'm looking for. So I'm kind of diluting it, right? I'm taking uh, half a mil of hydrochloric acid, of one molar hydrochloric acid, and I'm adding some water to it. I added two mils of water. So if I had two mils of water and I have 0.5 mils of my um, hydrochloric acid, my total volume, my final volume is going to be 2.5 milliliters. So then I can just, I can solve that. I'm just going to divide both sides by 2.5. I'm not going to give you the answer. I'm trying to find a balance of helping you walk through these calculations without giving you all of the final answers. So you're going to solve for your uh, molarity there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, again, deal with this uh, reaction, and we're going to shift the reaction around. We're going to add an acid to it. We're going to add a base to it and try to figure out how does that shift the reaction. Um, so what color changes do we see? What reagent what did we add that caused the color change? So did we add the HCl? Did we add the NaOH? And then what happened? <laughs> so what's going on with these? So let's think about this reaction here. This is the, the H plus. I have H plus here. So if I add an acid, right, if I increase this H plus concentration, I'm going to shift the reaction away from, the, the reaction is going to shift away from, from that. So if I add a product, I shift away towards the reactant. If I remove a product, then I would shift towards, uh, towards the products, towards the product side. And so that's how my reaction is going to shift. So why does that happen? If you remember, I'll do it over here, um, we have H plus times OH minus, this equals some constant. This is, there's an equilibrium constant here, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14, which means if I increase the H plus concentration, I have to decrease the OH minus concentration, or if I increase OH, I have to decrease H plus. So those are kind of inverse, they're, they're inverses there, right? If I add one, that's going to lower the other concentration. If I, if I lower one concentration, it'll increase the other. So when I'm adding hydroxide here, that's like removing, that's lowering my H plus concentration. So I should see that the reaction shifts to the right, which makes sense, right? Because the thing should turn pink. Uh, because when I'm under basic conditions, the indicator is going to indicate that by turning pink for me. All right, so that's all we're trying to do in, in this part. Look at the color changes what kind of species is changing colors, and then uh, rationalize that.